Windows 7 is a good operating system, and it's really one of the best for running FSX, but it's not without a couple of strange little quirks. And one of the ones that I've seen people run into most often is a problem adding scenery manually to the FSX scenery library. Um, it's actually pretty simple, but it's also a little counterintuitive. So I thought I'd do a quick video here and show you how it works. Um, mostly, it's just like you always have added scenery. Um, you go to the main screen here, or rather the settings screen, and you choose scenery library. And actually, I'm going to cheat a little bit and get rid of that. I'm going to add it back in again. So you click add area. I'm going to browse to my root FSX folder. Choose a scenery you might have heard of before from the FS add-on folder, Emma Field X. Now ordinarily you'd choose the folder that you wanted to add and click OK and this dialog box would disappear and the scenery would be added to the library. Um, but as you can see in FSX nothing happens. You click OK and you think you've done it all right uh, but the box won't go away and it doesn't seem to add the scenery. Well it turns out, and I don't know why this is, uh, you have to click in this folder area here, not down here in the Chrome, but in the folder area where you see scenery and texture. Either right click or left click, and it goes away, and then when you click OK, it adds the scenery to the library. Don't ask me why that is, uh, just one extra little step, right or left click inside the folder pane, and you should be good to go. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this and found it helpful. And if you want more information on FSX, visit my blog at iblueyonder.com. Thanks.